I've been testing a lot of different strings lately and today I bring you the review of this Technifiber Pro Red Code string. I have strung up the Technifiber Pro Red Code in my extended Wilson Blade 16x19 which is also currently my racket of choice. In this video the tension that I was using was 25 kilos both for the mains and crosses. I used the 17 gauge or the 1.25 mm version of this string. The string weighed 17.6 grams per 10 meters or in my racket 16.6 grams. The final specifications of my racket strung up with the pro red coat are shown in the upper left corner right now. I think it's very important to consider the racket and its specifications when talking about certain strings and how the strings play in certain rackets. The string that I've been using the most lately is the Solinco Turbide. I really like the string for its low powered response, the control that it gives me and its feel. The problem I have with the string is that it's got a bit unpredictable response, especially on the heavy topspin shots as it grabs the ball unpredictably, sometimes too much, sometimes not enough. Because it's a shaped four-sided string. And for this reason I started play testing some of the round shaped balls. I came across the Technifiber Pro Red Coat when I was searching for a string that has a low power response and is on a stiffer side of the spectrum like the Sulinco Turbite is. This was my first time using any kind of Technifiber polyester strings so I didn't really know what to expect. I was hoping for a string that's basically a round shaped Sulinco Turbite. But I was pleasantly surprised as the string was even better than the Sulinco Turbite and more predictable. The power level was about the same or maybe a bit lower than the Swinko Turbite, but the feel was even better for me. I think that currently this string is very underrated and I think it's kind of understandable because the most popular strings right now are a bit more powerful than this Pro Red Code is. I would say that this string is more of a classical style polyester and where this kind of strings really shine is in a heavy racket with a high swing weight like this wave that I'm using where you can really feel the ball compressing on your string bed and where the power comes from your racket weight and not the string itself and the string is just there to give you the control and confidence to really swing out at the ball I can say that this was actually my favorite part of the string that I was able to really swing out at the ball, especially on my forehand side and I knew that the ball will stay in the core and that I will always get the response and the trajectory of the ball of the string bed that I expect. The tension at 25 kilos was perfect for me and I might even go up a kilo or two for the hot summer months and the clay core tents. I had the strings in my racket for about 4 hours and that's usually when I cut all my strings out and just replace them. During this period the playability of the strings didn't change much and there was no notching visible on the string or any kind of string movement and so on. And like I said this string is really all about the predictability and reliability -ness. The only kind of knock that I can give to this string is its color. It's only available in red color which is not exactly my favorite color. Maybe just because I've been using only the black colored strings or the silver colored strings. But if I will change to these strings which is looking very likely at this point I think I'll get used to the color. The string costs around 10 euros for a set and if you're looking for a great round polyester like myself I really suggest you try this out and at this price point I think it's a very good string that can compare to a more expensive string like the round shaped Luxilon 4G. That's all I have to say about the Technifiber Pro Red Coat and if you enjoyed this kind of content subscribe to my channel at Impacting Tanks.